Fusion 360 has CAM software, which is capable of doing um, a number of different operations, um, including programming a, uh, a plasma table. Uh, unfortunately, what it does not do, what it is not capable of doing, is uh, what it is not capable of doing is programming a rotary axis machine. So there's several steps, although it's a simple process, there are several steps that are involved in taking a part such as this 4x4 tube steel part and programming it. Uh, and we're going to walk through right now how that's done. So the first step in this process, after you've... First step in this process to hide this timeline so nobody sees how bad your model is. Uh, the second step in the process is to isolate the part that you want to program. And the, uh, the simplest way to do that is to go to the body that uh, you want to... is to go to the body that you want uh, that you want to program the X the rotary axis come up to create and go to derive and the one body is selected and you click OK and what that does is that opens up that single part in its own file so I like to go ahead and then save this. And we're going to call this the side rail example. Save. So in order to get this into your DXF, what you're going to need to do is flatten this out and, uh, and project the uh, geometry onto a DXF and then save the DXF outside of the computer and go ahead and uh, bring it into your editing software. So we're, we're done with this particular model. Well, you know, let's leave that open for right now just in case. So the first step that we need to do is we come up here onto the body and we're going to create a sketch and we're going to we're going to and I'm going to click L for line and we have to insert a line here. And we we'll bring this up to the top. And then I'm going to offset that line ever so slightly, about 30 seconds second of an inch, point zero point zero three one two five should be good. And then I'm going to finish up my sketch. And what I've done is I've created a very, very small sliver in this piece that I can now, using the extrude tool, extrude and cut this part. And so now, instead of this being a solid 4x4 tube steel, it's a 4x4 tube steel with a 1 32nd cut down the middle. And that, that 1 32nd really won't make much of a difference uh, in the end. Um, in terms of programming. Uh, so, first step is to come here, and what you need to do is you need to convert this part to sheet metal. Now, one of the things that's really important here is that in your sheet metal rules that you've set up a K equal to one. Um, Fusion 360, by definition, um, will, when you fold and unfold tube steel, it will take into account the fact that the material stretches. Um, setting it, your K factor to 1 eliminates that, and there's no stretch factor there. I'll do another video on how to do that uh, in a bit. So I have selected this part. Uh, the thickness is 0.125, which is accurate, and OK. All right, so now I've with this, I know that I've changed this to tube steel. And I want to come up here and I want to create a flat. I want to flatten out this pattern. And so I'm going to select the stationary surface and click OK. And now I have 
a flattened out pattern. And with that pattern, what I now want to do is click on the top surface and I'm going to create a sketch. And I'm going to come up here to create and I'm going to project the geometry from below. And uh, it's this geometry right here. And click OK. Finish sketch. Turn off the body. And what you see is we now have the flattened tube steel surface with all of the geometry laid into it. I am now going to take that and I'm going to save that as a DXF. Then I'll finish that flat section. Now we get to go, we, we're going to save this and we can go back to this anytime we want. What we do is we just activate the flat pattern and we come right back to, uh, we come right back to this flattened out, um, flattened out body. Uh, so finish that. So now I want to come up here and I want to put my origin in. I'm going to create my sketch and I'm going to come up here and I'm going to insert DXF. And I'm going to do it from my computer. And side rail DXF. One thing that's important to do at this stage of the game is to get this point off of zero. If you don't get that off of zero, then it sort of grounds there and you end up not being able to move it later on. So, now we have, so now we have um, our DXF, and you can just see it's just a little bit easier to digest what's going on here. So I want to take this and I want to move this over to the origin. I'm just going to pick my point here and put it here. Sorry. I'm going to pick my point here. Ah. Let's try this again. I'm going to go up. I'm going to move. Select this body. I'm going to pick my point here. And I'm going to move it up. Click OK. Now I want to see this. Now, this is the DXF pattern that you're going to save and, and, uh, and program. The one thing that you want to keep in mind is that this, this 130 second uh, cut is still in this. Okay, so what you need to do is take this and delete and delete these lines. Let me turn off the origin at this point and delete these lines because if you leave these in when you're programming, it's going to wind up cutting that same slit out of the tube steel. So we go ahead and finish the sketch. I'm going to save this just because I like to save my DXFs. And we're going to say uh, side rail burn DXF. Save that. Come up here. Click on this. Save this as DXF. And this is going to be side rail burn DXF. Save. And that's it. You have saved this now to a DXF file. And I'm going to close all this up. For whatever reason, my computer doesn't like to run with both Fusion 360 and Sheet Cam. So I'm going to take Fusion 360 off. Just do a new job. Do you want to change? No, I don't want to save these changes. So we've got a new job. And now I'm going to bring in a new part. And we go back down to... I think I saved it here. Side rail burn DXF, DXF. 
and we have this in. Now what you notice is here you have, uh, it's not lined up with the folds the same way. Um, and that's because the, the zero point of the, the zero point of the drawing does not match with the zero point within the program. But we know that we were offset two inches. So if we move this now, if you, you notice here that we're off the top of this, uh, that we're off the top of the layout of the tube steel, that's okay. It's not going to hurt anything. Um, and we just want to go to our operations. We're going to plasma cut inside offset. And the only other the, the only other problem that we have here is, well, let's just check. So we've got on the inside, we're going to do our cuts, follow along here, and then move back here. And then this is the last cut. Now, the problem is, really, we want this to be the first cut and this to be the last cut. So we're going to come up here. We're going to modify this. Quick cut sequence. I want this to be one. And I want this to be 42. So, quick cut sequence, 42, click on that, enter, escape. Okay, and so now my first cut is going to be here, and then we're going to dance along this line here, come back around, and then take the whole thing out to the front and cut this last line. Ideally, we would go, well, actually, you know, ideally, I guess we would go here, come all the way out, and then circle back around and cut, but that's okay. This works just fine. So, the next thing that we need to do is uh, run our post processor, and go there and save that, and we are good to go. We have now created the burn file, we have now created the burn file to run the plasma for this for this part. So a bunch of steps, but really at the end of the day, it doesn't take all that long. So please take a look at the workflow. A lot of you guys out there are better at uh, Fusion 360 and SheetCan than I am. Um, if you have any uh, suggestions, I would be very happy if you would share them with me. Thanks very much. Have a great day.